let's go. This world is precious. I mean, even the god of destruction can't bear to lose it. Our bodies might be mortal, but our hearts are infinite. Though he's in a dark place right now, I hope Id doesn't lose sight of that. But even if he does, I'll open his eyes again. I, this crew, will never abandon someone we care about. The sunrise spills over the Grand Cipher as we rush on the winds, chasing the sorrowful cries of a faraway dragon. Support. I won't waste this! The spell is perfect! And yet... Seems the binding is only half effective. <laughs> Captain, the rest is up to you. You must save it. Way to death, and death begets life. Our attempts to intervene with this process may have far reaching consequences, but I want to believe in the limitless potential of Sky Dwellers. I want to believe you can rewrite even the laws of reality. It's hurting really bad. How sad and empty. We haven't known each other for too long, but. I can feel it. We wouldn't want things to end like this. We just have to save him. Who cares if you're stuck inside Bahamut? I'll bust you out myself if I have to. It. You were betrayed by the woman who raised you. Made into a dragon's vessel for 15 years. And yet you, a mere mortal, survived. If I should fail to rescue you, I don't think I shall ever forgive myself for the rest of my long, long life. In the past, I had merely existed. It wasn't until you Sky Dwellers let me into your hearts that I learned it was to live. Unlike immortals, you are capable of change and growth. All I want is to be a part of that. To help you build a glowing future. As an astral, I am also to blame for the failures of my people. 
And I swear to you now, I will set things right again. I don't like to admit it, but gods are a little beyond our skill level. We need more firepower. I think you mean dragon power. Lyrian, do you feel up to summoning Bahamut? Okay, just give me some time. It's the light of the apocalypse. The fire of doomsday. Its power is transcendent. If the attack lands, all the signs will be obliterated. Help you! Help you! We know you don't want this area. Hurry and wake up! You hold in the charge! It's already stored up considerable energy. We train a prayer today, Nevis! Everyone! And that means there's still hope! If you can sever the spiritual shackles that bind me in Traversa, he'll come back! Don't you remember? You made a promise! Is this your idea of protecting Lyria? You finally crawled out from under Lilith's thumb? And now you're gonna let yourself be crushed under verses? Not your problem! Please! You can't push us away! Without us, you're pretty much the awkwardest person I've ever met! <laughs> He's right, kid. Face you need us. Run away! Please! Run! I thought you knew us better than that, Id. None of us would ever abandon a friend. Here it comes! You need to bring him back now! 
I'm ready. Anything happen to you or our world. Our journey can't end here. It's Sun Lana. We're going to kick some dragon tails and go on sailing to the end of the sky. Yeah. King is ours! Focus! Roger that! Not now, not ever! Dragon is one! Prominence blue! Yeah. It's sooner! No use running anymore! I am who I am! Oh. <laughs> An evil dragon. Child of darkness and flame.
amazing. Absolutely amazing. You've suppressed Versus Core and driven it back to its home dimension. Everyone safe now? Thanks for everything. <laughs> you can buy me some apples on the way back. Huh? We're still not done. Forgive me. Hmm. Kids these days, you two are totally nuts. <gasps> Let's roll into you, Bernie. You okay, man? Where are you? Hmm. Good question. Someplace far away? Hey, this ain't the time for jokes. He and Bahamut are trapped on another plane. Think of it as a sliver between dimensions. Still, considering his transceiver seems to be working, For now. Sadly, I think my time's almost up. The line's going to get cut earlier than I'd hoped. Thought I'd still be able to open a gate from here. Guess not. Isn't there anything we can do? Sure, just stay calm. No need to worry about little old me. I'm Mr. Fix-It, remember? There's no jam I can't get myself out of, you know. I'll make it. One last thing. So until I get back. Intend to get back to the to do the check-in on the people of Falcon. I don't want to lose my sleep over me to be stuck in this bad Oh, God. That's 
That's where we bumped into Roland when we first arrived in the Zega Grande Skydom. I have to atone. Huh? <laughs> For Mother's crimes. And mine. Come on, no need to beat yourself up, kid. That's right. We couldn't have resolved this without you. said it was fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> One of us now, not me. you've done. Never, ever. <laughs> and when we find Roland, we'll give him the thanks he deserves. We've met so many people in the Zega Grande sky. New friends. New allies. We saw a man torn in two by family and betrayal. We were saved by an immortal who found beauty in our changing world. Through loss and adversity, our resolve brought Lyria and I closer than ever before. Yet this story is far from over. A good friend is still out there waiting for us to come get him. And as for our journey, there's still much to say. To the ends of the skies, where the stars reside, someday we will reach Estelucia.
finally made it back. What are we gonna do now? I think we should start by finding Roland's house. If memory serves, he was living at the church. But why the sudden interest? The church. Got it. We still need to work on his people skills. Well, at least we know where he went. We should go see what he's thinking. is replete with his memory. We really appreciated it, you chipping in to rescue Roland. I owe him just as much as you do. More, even. I feel bad intruding on his home without permission, but there might be clues around. Wanna help us search? Hello there. Did I hear you mention Roland? Huh? Oh, yeah. You a friend of his, too? So my ears didn't deceive me. We've met before, remember? At the docks of Tempeel. Oh, you're the guy that told us about Hallowed Ground. The very same. But, um, back to Roland. Would you happen to know where he is? I can't seem to get in touch. somewhere far away. Yeah, really far. It'll probably take him a while to get back. That's fine. I just wanted to be sure he was safe. Knowing Roland, he'll probably wander in through that door when we need him most. Though, to be honest, I hope that's sooner rather than later. Why is that? Something wrong? Well, as you may know, in addition to being a vicar, Roland was the local Mr. Fixit. And I'm not just talking repairs. Monster hunting, herb picking, he was a real lifesaver. But now that Roland's gone, there's tons of work that's going unfinished. I'll do it. Huh? I'll take up his mantle. Ah, this is so painful to watch. Will somebody please teach this kid to speak like a normal person? I think Id meant to say he just wants to be helpful now that Roland's gone. Right, Id? Right. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. But, um, how do I put this? We were comfortable asking Roland for favors because we trusted him. While you certainly look like an upstanding young man. You're still a stranger. No offense. But I... We'll help out too. Great idea! Hey, mister, we aren't strangers. What if we tagged along? Well, all right, if you insist. I have to say, though, you've done so much for our city. I feel guilty piling more work on you. You sure about this, Captain? Yeah, it's what Roland would want. Um, thanks. Well, now that everything's settled, I'll forward all our jobs to the Crew Alliance Reform. Whenever you feel like taking something on, head over to the quest counter. Thank you again, and best of luck. Hey, it's 
it's everyone's favorite crew. Perfect timing as usual. Truth is, I just put out an urgent cry for help. We got a caravan strong-armed by goblins in Skyworm Valley. I'm looking for folks to beat off the half-beasts and retrieve the stolen goods. Might be a tough battle, but think you can head out now? Yeah. Knew I could count on you? Take care of yourselves, you hear?